volunteer, so their paycheck arrives in the form of joy, we have a hole. satisfaction, and a little laughter. <laughs> These old timers are 98-year-old Gene Varda and 88-year-old Frank. As part of the 2x4 boys crew at the Habitat Charlotte Restore, they use recycled materials to build birdhouses, bat houses, butterfly houses, and other odds and ends. So we come in here and we have a project set up for us to do. First day that I met him up here, he was just so warm, so friendly, and I got to see immediately that he has the heart of a servant. Prince may have Varda's wife of 70 years to thank for that. Before she died in January, Grace Varda captured headlines with the turban she crafted for cancer patients. All the while, Jean's name appeared on many a plaque for his hours of community service. As Grace said, we're put on this earth to help others. And I agree with that. From beautiful bird houses to even bat houses, obviously Varda is very successful in his service to the community, but he's also been very successful in serving our country. He's a decorated war veteran. He has got medals. He didn't even miss a medal. Totally two different accounts. A modest, <laughs> humble Varda didn't elaborate much about his 13 medals or his time fighting in the Battle of the Bulge. We got a silver star and then we got battle stars. He doesn't have to say much. His uniform tells the story. News 14 Carolina caught up with Varda during the Vets Building for Vets Day for Habitat. It's always been a matter of we, no I. We work together all the time. So whether it's helping a fellow veteran with a fresh start, we stick together. Or crafting a masterpiece at the resource, volunteers say in order to move forward as a community, we can all do something to give back. It's Christ, the Holy Spirit working through me, trying to do what he wants me to do. At nearly a century old, it may be sound advice. Bart is doing something right. He has no glasses, no cane, but does have a little help hearing. He has his faith, and oh yeah, he has that infectious laugh. Oh. <laughs> Claudine Chalfont, News 14, Carolina.